A good practice for your Windows Server is to back it up. And by default, Windows Server Backup is not installed. If you go to the Tools menu, and you go down to Windows Server Backup, you can see that it shows up. However, when you go to click on it, you're not going to get uh, any kind of ability to back it up because it says it's not installed. Let's go ahead and close that. Click on the Add Roles and Features Wizard. Go ahead and click Next. And we'll scroll down to where it says Features. And there's Windows Server Backup. Click Next and Install. Windows Server Backup is the only role or feature that you'll see that shows up in the Tools menu even though uh, you haven't installed it. Go ahead and click Close. And now we can go to Tools and Windows Server Backup. And this looks better. It looks more like what we should see when we are going to back up our server. We get a message saying that no backup has been configured yet, so let's go ahead and use the wizard to get things started. We can choose the backup schedule where we'll back up uh, on a regular basis, or we can just choose to back up once. Let's go ahead and choose backup once just for demonstration purposes. Click Next. We can back up the entire server, or we can choose Custom. Let's go ahead and choose Custom. Click Next. And we'll click on Add Items. Now, I would recommend that you choose the bare metal recovery because that gives you everything you need. It, you notice that it leaves out the E drive because that's going to be the drive we use for our backup. So if you need to restore back to what it was on a different computer because of hardware fa failure, then bare metal is what you want. However, we're not going to do that. In this case, we don't have enough of the uh, storage available, so we're just going to do the system state. Go ahead and click Next. We're going to choose a local drive, and by default, it finds our E drive, which just has 5 gigabytes on it. And then we'll click Backup. Now, this could take anywhere from a few minutes to more than an hour, just depending on how fast or slow your server is or how much resources you've given it in case it's a virtual machine such as this one.